Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. We are delighted to announce the release of DCS Open Beta version 2.9. Let's talk about some of the most noteworthy features. Rabbit Squadron, beware, escorts, uh, 12 o'clock high over deal. Roger, red leader. Our free and integrated voice chat feature now adds configurable and realistic radio effects, general and player created lobbies, an improved interface, and greater stability. Jaguar 2 1, Dark Horse 06, ascended. Good hits. NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, is now implemented. This technology uses artificial intelligence to enhance and upscale images and generally offers higher frame rates in both 2D and VR. 2.9 also includes AMD FSR and TAA temporal anti-aliasing options. Another graphics enhancement is screen space shadows. This option, which is still a work in progress, offers more realistic depth and photorealism to forests and fields, all with little impact to performance. 2.9 also offers much improved track replay accuracy for player-controlled aircraft. In the near future, this will also be implemented for air and ground AI units. Wind and rotor downwash now affect vegetation and movement and create more realistic dust effects. Based on thrust, speed, and proximity, the grass, trees, and bushes and dust will now react accordingly. Blast and shockwave effects will be coming soon. Many of our aircraft, such as the F-16C Viper, F-18C, A-10C-2, and the A-H-64D now include a new level of data link fidelity which shares data based on aircraft identification across groups and aircraft types. This also allows data links to be dynamic and configurable even during a mission. 2.9 replaces several existing AI models, notably the B-52H, B-1B, S-3B, and the SA-10 SAM, with more to come in the future. We've also added the impressive C-RAM air defense system that can engage bombs and rockets. The Spitfire Mark IX cockpit has received a substantial facelift. We now have accurate color and material matching with enhanced cockpit accuracy and detailing. A new in-game GoPro-style fixed camera has been added, which can be rapidly positioned anywhere on any aircraft, vehicle, or ship. This camera gives you all the flexibility imaginable to create epic action footage. We have also added a number of new cinematic color gradient presets. These are pretty cool and can be found in the Options menu. From the in-game payload editor, you can now create and save custom payloads for later missions. The F-16C Viper and F-18C radars provide a new level of realism with regards to their ability to detect and track aircraft. This includes the modeling of radar cross-section fluctuations, atmospheric density effect on the radar range, and Doppler resolution based on selected radar mode. Argus has added the two-seat F-1BE version to 2.9 at DCS. This adds a great training capability to the F-1 with an exquisite rear cockpit and new features like the heads-up sight repeater. Enjoy. These are some of the highlights at DCS 2.9. Check out the change log in the show notes below with the full list of enhancements and bug fixes. Thank you all for your support, feedback, and the valuable time you contribute to making DCS better and better.